we have to send prototypes out onto the street before we're really ready to reveal the car to the public. And what we do is we camouflage. We put as much in the way of the spy photographer's lens as possible and I'll still allow our vehicles to drive and get the test results we need. The techniques we've developed for our camouflage come from our own experience. We don't have any other industry to follow in this regard. We've come up with these graphics. It's very lightweight and it's very cost effective. We will bring it into this room here and we'll actually start printing out the theme that they've come up with as far as the patterns. And then from there we package everything in special packages and then we have it shipped off to the build site to where they're actually going to make these prototypes and these different types of vehicles. And then from there it's individual stickers that go on the cars over top of some uh, overlays that they've chose to put on the vehicle and that's why we sticker them. We sticker each vehicle individually. We use black vinyl wrap that actually has Velcro and zipper closures so we can still get in and out of the car and open up hoods and lift gates. And then we actually build um, a fake architecture on the car that then gets wrapped so we can change the profile and change the appearance. So you might not know that uh, you're seeing a Mustang, you might think you're seeing a small station wagon because we've changed the roof line and changed the angle of the back window. We are simply trying to make it more difficult for people to take photos and videos of our vehicles while we're testing them on the street.